these virtual tour photos were captured with the Insta360 One RS 1 inch 360 edition and the Best 360 monopod and edited using Insta360 Studio and Affinity Photo only. There is no need for Lightroom or Photoshop in this workflow because with the help of the Best 360 virtual tour enhancer effects in Affinity Photo, you can color grade and edit your 360 photos all within Affinity Photo. So let me show you how the new workflow works. This room was naturally quite dark and it was very bright outside. So this was a very challenging environment to make sure there is plenty of detail in the shadows and highlights. To capture these 360 photos, I use HDR photo mode, set the file format to raw, set the exposure bracket to five photos and the exposure difference to plus minus two. You can achieve even better photo quality by setting the exposure bracket to nine photos, but it will take up a lot more storage space I find five photos a good compromise between photo quality and storage space. You can leave the white balance on auto because with a raw photo you can always change the white balance later in post or you can choose a manual white balance to keep the white balance consistent throughout all the photos. And now you can take your virtual tour photos around the room. The next step is to take the dual fisheye raw HDR 360 photos from the camera and turn them into stitched, echo rectangular, raw HDR 360 photos in Insta360 Studio. To do this, import the raw photos into Insta360 Studio, and Insta360 Studio will automatically sort and merge the raw photos for you. When you click on a photo, this is the merged HDR photo from the set of five photos taken at plus minus two exposure, Click export, choose where to save the stitched raw HDR360 photos to, check export all exposure photos and click start export. When the export is finished, you'll have a new folder for each 360 photo. In the folder, is the set of five raw HDR360 photos stitched together. The sixth file is the set of five raw HDR360 photos merged together into a single raw 360 photo. And the seventh file is the set of five raw HDR360 photos merged together into a single JPEG 360 photo. This is what the JPEG file looks like. It's not very good quality, so it's best to use the raw files to get the best photo quality possible. You can import the single raw 360 photo into Affinity Photo and work on it, but you're not going to get the best dynamic range possible. When I try to bring down the highlights, Affinity Photo turns this area pink because there is no information here. So to get the best HDR photo quality possible in Affinity Photo, go to File, New HDR Merge, go to Add, locate the 360 photos you exported from Insta360 Studio, select the set of 5 raw 360 photos, click Open, uncheck Automatically Align Images, Noise Reduction and Tone Mapping, then click OK. Wait for the photo to finish processing and now Affinity Photo has merged the set of five RAW360 photos into a single RAW360 photo. Press V on the keyboard to change to the Move tool. Now this is where the magic happens. Make sure your 360 photo is selected and with a single click of the Best360 Virtual Tour Enhancer effects, your 360 photo has the maximum dynamic range possible and a minimal color grade applied. Open the effects and here are some settings you can customize. First, let's adjust the contrast to slightly lift the shadows in the room. Next, let's increase the color to make the photo more vivid.
The white balance in the room looks okay, so there is no need to change it. A denoiser is automatically applied to reduce the noise in the photo. You can decrease the effect of the denoiser by lowering the luminance and color percentage. And finally, you can adjust the sharpness by moving the factor between 0 and 1. The best thing about the effects is a seamless 360 stitch line. Adding these effects will not cause a sharp edge in your 360 photos. If you want to change the center point of your 360 photo, select the 360 photo, go to Layer, Live Projection, Equirectangular Projection, change the heading to your desired center point, click Center Coordinate System, and this is now the new center point of your 360 photo. To remove the tripod legs from your 360 photo, make sure your photo is selected, go to Layer, Live Projection, Edit Live Projection, look down at the nadir, select the In Painting Brush tool, Make the width of the brush slightly bigger than the tripod legs. Make a selection over the tripod legs. And now the tripod legs have magically disappeared. To save your 360 photo, go to Layer, Live Projection, Remove Projection, Go to File, Export, Select JPEG, Make sure the preset is set to best quality, Click Export, Choose a folder to save your 360 photo to, Click Save, and wait for the photo to export. To preview your 360 photo, open GoPro VR Player, drag and drop the exported photo into GoPro VR Player, and this is the result. The old way of processing photos in Photoshop and Lightroom will cost you £120 yearly, but with Affinity Photo and the Best 360 Virtual Tour Enhancer effects, you will only pay a one-off fee of £78. I will leave the links to Affinity Photo and the Best 360 Virtual Tour Enhancer effects in the video description, and on the effects product page, you will find a tutorial video on how to install the effects in Affinity Photo. If you want to learn from scratch how to make a virtual tour, using your Insta360 camera, Insta360 Studio, Affinity Photo, and the Best360 Virtual Tour Enhancer effects, then check out my course, How to Make a Virtual Tour in the Best360 Academy. In this course, I will show you how to capture raw HDR360 photos using your Insta360 camera, how to edit the raw HDR360 photos using Insta360 Studio, Affinity Photo, and the Best360 Virtual Tour Enhancer effects. And I will also show you how to put together a virtual tour using Kula, which is the most affordable and beginner-friendly virtual tour platform out there. The camera files are provided for you, so you can follow along the tutorial step by step, so you don't even need a 360 camera to start learning today. Once you're in the Best360 Academy, you get access to all the courses, lots of downloadable INSV files to practice with, and help and support from myself. I will leave a link to the Best360 Academy in the video description. That's it for this video. Hit the like button if you learned something new. Subscribe for more 360 tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video.